Hey everybody, it's CR with Everyday Life in Arizona. It's a beautiful day, hope that you're doing well. This is the next episode in my DIY golf cart rehab. A quick update, this is a 2007 Fairplay. It's an off-brand. I bought it new in 2007, 18 years ago from right now. And a couple of months ago, I decided to pull the cover off of it from the side of the house and start updating and refreshing it. I've done several projects. You can see them on my channel from new lithium battery to wheels and tires seat belts, et cetera. The next projects I want to have some fun with is adding another step down low voltage system. It has a 48 volt to 12 volt reducer right now that runs all the accessories. That is the front headlights, the rear tail lights, the brake lights, the blinkers, and a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter that's in the dash. And all that works great. And because my cart is a one-off, it's older, though it's in outstanding shape, I don't really want to tap into anything or add any more load to the current electrical 12-volt system. Everything's working great. So I've decided to add a second 48-volt to 12-volt reducer, and I'm going to establish another system parallel for any future accessories. After I add the 48 to 12 volt reducer, which is right here, uh, Pro Chaser, then I'm going to add this nice new switch relay. So I'm excited about installing this guy. Uh, it's an eight gang switch. I think you're familiar with them. But I'll mount the switch panel up in the front and I'll have a eight gang fuse box with which to add multiple accessories to. So right now I know I want to add uh, three or four things. One being the uh, DC to AC inverter so I can have the 110 outlets and that box also has a couple more USB charging points. Secondly I want to run uh, power to my new tag holder for the back. My golf cart is registered and has a tag here in Arizona and I want to power up the light that's over the tag. Uh, thirdly, I know I want to do um, some LED lights up in the roof to just provide some ambient uh, ambient lighting. And fourthly, I may put some LED, uh, like daytime running lights on the front. Come along with me. Let's have some fun. Let's get this Pro Chaser out. Instructions. It has a wiring harness and it comes with some butt connectors. As a reminder, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I am not a uh, expert. This is not my core competency. In fact, I just bought a nice new stripper. I've seen these used and I've got an old fashioned one that's got the multiple sizes, the holes and you pull it and all that, but I wanted to get a nice stripper. I also bought a nice assortment of uh, connectors, buck connectors, ring connectors, etc. female, male. Uh, and I'm gonna have some fun with that. The directions, by the way, I got to give Pro Chaser props. Super clear, super easy. Not only are they on here, but they're also printed on the actual unit. So, man, just great, uh, great job by them to help people who may not just automatically know what they are doing. Man, those make work handy versus the old fashioned ones that I've got. All right, this lug is a Phillips or a bolt. I'm just going to start with this. All right, we'll push that in there. Okay, we'll twist those together. Crimp there, crimp there, and one more for a good measure, right? Okay, the two reds are together. The black is together. These are going to go to the load, which is the fuse box panel. All right, let's look at this relay switched together. And this looks very cool to me. It's probably more than what I need, uh, but it'll be fun. And I'm hanging out with you guys and gals for a few minutes. Oh, that gave you some nice stickers. Okay, stickers. 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 Switch panel. More stickers. These are the stickers for the, uh, to assign the eight buttons. You know, there's fog lights and this and that. They give you all kind of different 
ideas, windshield wiper, grill lights. Those I get. The other ones, you know, I don't know. Okay, check this out. There is the switch panel. I'm very excited about this. I'm very excited. Look at that. Eight gang. You can dim it. Power on. Power off. Okay, and good. It has a little connector, so you don't have to drag the whole the whole wire through tracing it. That'd, that'd be good. Okay, let's set this to the side. Actually, set it up here. And now, look at what's in this box, people. They give you all the stuff they give you. Not only the wiring harnesses, but there's a screwdriver, an Allen wrench, multiple brackets, multiple mounting brackets, uh, wire ties. 100 bucks, by the way, on Amazon. 100 bucks. Here's the fuse box. This is such uncharted territory for me. I'm not sorry for being a geek. But this is like way new for me. Look at that. It comes right off. All right, and that's what I'm talking about. Solid state relays and fusible. So eight different settings. And then on each side, Positive and negative. Two, 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 four there, and then four pairs over here. And they're numbered to correspond to the number on the thing. So this is the guy that's going to mount right there. I've got my wiring harness. Okay, I've got them hooked up. We're good. Got the red light for the battery. I'm curious. I'm going to go ahead and Plug in the relay switch. See what we've got, which goes right here. Looks like it goes this way. Look at that. Did you see that? <laughs> I turned it on. We've got power. I'll put the labels on there, and then now when you press a switch up here, you got the red lights down here too. I think you can see those. All right. So I just hit that switch. Boom. Now we're going to mount these panels. We've got some heavy-duty industrial uh, Velcro. It's rated at 10 pounds, which is more than what I need. But I just want to get something nice and heavy-duty. Peel these off. Put this across the back. I'm going to mount this bad boy. I like it. Now I'll take a piece and Put it right here. And let's connect it first, make sure I've got what I think I've got. Oh yeah. Oh no wipe. That's why it's clean. This is where I am right now. I didn't move the panel box a little forward. It was a little tight on the wires. And I also did off camera, I put two wire extensions from the uh, step down converter to the battery. It was just a little tight from the, from the harness. So <clears throat> I extended those wires on out to put the step down over there and the panel right next to it. There's the wire for the switch panel in the front. I'll run underneath and we're good. I'm working on the panel install now. Here's the front. I measure this and I thought this would fit pretty good right there. But let me show you what I did first. So the multiple mounting brackets, it came with two options for this backside. 
there should be some screws in there for this to attach like this. I bet there is. The screwdriver they provided. I really don't want to cut the dash, take the dash out, modify the dash. I want to be as least evasive as I can. The only thing I did was behind there on the back right corner on the bottom uh, of that cavity, I drilled a hole to accommodate the wire. They did a good job by allowing you to disconnect it. The pigtail on the back of this relay switch is only about, I don't know, 10 inches, and then it screws apart so you don't have to fish the whole wire. Uh, so I fished the wire from the back to the front and then pulled it through and uh, connected it. Works great when you push it. It lights up indicating that it's powered and it's great. You can change the colors of the switches also. You can turn it off. I'm wiring my first accessory. I did take the fuse block off the side. Again, I'm happy that I'm using Velcro so I can see it better. I chose this switch right here. All I did, I'm sorry I didn't film it, positive and negative. You can see it. I unscrewed it. Slid the positive in, screwed it back down. Unscrewed the negative, slid the negative wire in, screwed it back down. Mike Tooney provides you with a perfect little screwdriver. It's actually very nice. It fits the Phillips head well. It's got a nice grip to it. And uh, that's that. I put the cover back on it and mount it against the wall. And that will be my uh, 110 inverter. I've added two accessories. There's my 110 AC inverter. See it feeding into the bottom, the black and white wire. And then my red and black positive negative wire coming out the top is going to the back to power my tag light over my nice new tag holder that holds my official Arizona tag. So two accessories in. Easy peasy. All right, that's my project. Simple, straightforward, new for me. First time I've ever wired anything 12 volt DC. I've done some switch replacement and outlet replacement in my house, uh, but this was different for me. So I, I, I enjoyed learning some, some of this stuff. Now I've got to go find and buy some more cool accessories to add into this nice fuse box. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes. Hope this maybe gave you some ideas or some insight to something that you may want to do to your golf cart. I've sure been enjoying this refresh of uh, mine, teaching me new skills and having fun keeping it current and adding things to it. Take care, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.